You've worked really hard to turn your business into a success. Can you talk to us about how you envisioned the business? I came in looking for a last minute gift, Christmas gift for Carol. Susan was helping me and at that time she mentioned, yeah, we're thinking about selling the shop. And I said, well, I think we would be interested because about six months before that we had been in the shop and Carol said something to the effect that I would love to own this shop. We're not the kind of people that can just sit around and do nothing, so why not you know, jump into the quilt business? It just started down, you know, everything fell into place. So you guys have contributed a lot to your local community. Can you describe what that means to you? It gives you a good feeling. Um, I enjoy helping people when the 4-H'ers come in. I help them with their 4-H book. I have, a high school has reached out to me to help them with their um, machines. So in the fall they can start teaching sewing, basic sewing classes again. We've, we've started a class for beginners and we've had a couple girls go through it, but it's, it's kind of neat just to see them turn to her for advice now and, and build that, they're building that relationship both ways. And to get, I'm sure, some people that have never been involved in sewing, quilting, anything like that before, now develop probably a new passion, a new excitement for it. Yeah, it's about those who came before us and we're wanting to push that forward. What advice do you guys have for others that are thinking about starting a business? Well, number one is get a good team behind you. Um, talk to different accountants and get that started early. Talk to different lawyers about how you need to set the business up, what's the best way to set the business up, and obviously talk to somebody like yourself at OU um, and, and get that process started for developing the business plan, uh, doing the financials, because if you have to get a loan, you're going to need all of that information. It's not something that you can just do a couple checklists and you're done. It's about laying the foundation. If, if your foundation is not good, you're gonna have problems with the building, right? If your foundation is strong, it'll grow grow and go from there. Can you describe how you utilized the services of the Small Business Development Center and um, the assistance that you received from us and how we work together? They helped us write the business plan. They helped us with getting our financials together, getting the worksheets together. Yeah. The, the, it's just the support, knowing that, that you're not in it alone too, um, was a big deal. Uh, whenever we ran into uh, issues or something that, that the, you know, the bank was asking for when we were going for our loan, uh, you were a phone call away. If it wasn't for the SBDC, I'd still be running around in circles trying to get paperwork together. <laughs> I, would I would agree with that. <laughs> I would agree with that. Yeah. We would not be in business, to be honest. Yeah. Well, and that's where we're happy to help. We like to know that there are businesses in our community that are employing community members and bringing, you know, resources like this, bringing these tools back to the community. Mm -hmm.